forgot my drink. Okay, guys. Hi. Haven't been here in like two years. Wow, this is so awkward. <laughs> okay. okay, I have a hot mess of products here. I really don't know what kind of look I'm going for. But I mean, it is what it is. We're just gonna go with it. Uh, I always start with my eyebrows. Cause I'm a freak. But okay, so lately I've been using the Hella Dirty Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I saw it on TikTok. Looks like this. I didn't think that I would be like a TikTok kind of girl, but I swear I've been on TikTok for like four hours without even like noticing it. So I'm just gonna put this mostly like on my cheeks because that's where I feel like I have the most like like pores and texture. I'm gonna take it on my nose. And I'm just gonna kind of like pat the product in versus like kind of going like this. I find that that worked better for me last time, but I really like it. It's like, what, like six bucks or like eight bucks or something like that, but it's super cheap. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. I'm 24 now, so weird, right? I'm like an adult kind of, kind of. I mean, I'm getting drunk at noon, so. I have a lot of MAC products, but it's because I work for MAC, so, um, but I also um, found this really, um, what are words? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Um, I haven't had breakfast, so this is margarita's going to hit. Perfect. What was I saying? Oh, a very affordable lip combo, um, from the drugstore. So I'm going to either use that or use my fave. Lip combo, which is MAC, Shrimped In, and Stripped Down lip liner. So I'm going to see what, what my eyes end up looking like to see like what kind of uh, lip I want. Because the drugstore lip is a little bit darker. I didn't even pull it out. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Do I overdo it? Maybe. Do we like care really? Not really. Fuck it, take it through the brows. Whatever's left on your finger, just run that shit through your eyebrow. For fun. Guys, I really recommend this primer. It's super cheap. So, there's that. And I'm debating on the foundation I'm gonna use. So, we'll just... I guess we'll see as well. This is MAC Dip Down. So... Listen, my eyebrows are going to take a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it and then I'll be right back. And then if you guys decide that you guys want like a little brow tutorial thing, I can do that. So this is what I have going so far. So basically I just used the product I showed you and then I used my hourglass concealer. This is in the color O and I just used it to clean up underneath. I'm going to clean up the top. Um, with my foundation. So I'm either going to use... The Clay de Po foundation, which I like a lot. It looks like this. I'm in the color 040. I like this foundation a lot. It's kind of more like a radiant look. Or I'm gonna mix um, two colors in the Airbrush Flawless Finish foundation. Um, this one's more affordable, so let's just use this one. The other one's really pretty too, though. So maybe I'll do a, a different look with that one. It sits really nicely on the skin. Um, I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna put it on my palette. And what I'm using here is six and 7.5. My little perfect shade here. This is a MAC 212 brush, and then I'm just gonna go and carve my brow out just a little bit to get it more shape. Listen, let me tell you what we didn't think about up here in the brain. We didn't think about if I get, if I do end up getting a little drunk, because I have like more of these in my fridge, how would the look come out? You know, we didn't, we didn't use our brains, ladies. So what I'm doing here is ruining everything. So <laughs> I'm gonna fix what I have going. Then I'm gonna be right back when I get it I think together. This is a different angle, but I'm also not naked. I'm wearing a tube top. Um. 
So I'm just using, this is a Real Technique sponge and the foundations that I mixed to create the perfect shade, I'm just applying that all over my skin. I like this foundation because I feel like it gives you like a, an actual like really flawless look. Boom, look at that y'all, full coverage. And then I'm just taking it lightly, like right on the, the front of the brow, like right in here. And then normally my hair wouldn't be done, but I'm gonna take it into the hairline. And then I usually steer clear from like around my eye area because I'm gonna go in there with concealer. And I'm just gonna take my brush and then slightly run it through the top and the bottom just so that it gives, it, it still keeps that defined look because I like my brows to be defined. If you don't like that, you don't like that, it's okay. I do I'm gonna take the clay to pull concealer and I'm just gonna do like a little triangle still. Like that. And then I'll match it on the other side. I love concealer though. So you're gonna see me do like two layers of concealer and I just don't want anybody to say anything about it. Like pick, take it around the mouth a little bit on the chin, on the tip of the nose, and then to the line up, and then just kind of do like this. Boom, do what, do this, easy, right? Then you take your thingy and then just buff it in. Now I don't find this foundation kicks up on me. Um, and then you'll be able to see, like I put a lot of product on my face, but I don't know, dude, something about me, I just love like, full coverage, like full beat, like cake, you know? And I always have, like even if you guys go back to the old videos. And for all the people that didn't even know I made videos back in the day, well, I did. <laughs> and then, okay, but boom, like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it on my eyelid. Don't look at my nail that is broken. Now that you're looking flawless and you feel like you don't need more concealer, this is fine for you, but I'm gonna add more concealer. I'm gonna take the Hourglass Concealer. I really like this concealer, guys. It kind of like sits so nice and pretty on the skin. And it doesn't crease on me. So I'm just gonna grab it and then do one of them. You don't have to do this step. I like to layer my concealers. I may not need to, but I also don't need to be as extra as I am and I am, so. Boom, easy, and then, so like I kind of like let it sit like that and then while that's sitting like right under my eyes, I'm gonna take whatever's like on the sponge and get it on my chin, the tip of my nose, drag it up, kind of like exactly where we put that other concealer. Except this one, I kind of bring a little bit higher on the sides of my nose. Let me know down below what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, I was thinking of pranking my girlfriend. She's probably... I don't know if she'll watch this video, actually. I don't think she will. I don't think she'll, like, enjoy it. It's not her type, you know? And then just, like, don't ever stop blending, ever. And then, now that my face is pretty much done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my setting powder. This is actually the Fenty, the Fenty powder, the banana shade. This is my first time using it, actually, so let's just give it a go. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I made a mess. Okay. It, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like really dewy still. So I'm just gonna, while it's still in that stage, I'm just gonna go under with my eyes. Like so. The mirror is turning my under eyes darker because I was going for the hella light look and I feel like it, now it's getting darker. <laughs> we'll see. I like to take the powder around my mouth as well. My favorite powder is the Hourglass powder though, the Veil powder, if you guys have not tried that. You're missing out. I just take it around my mouth, on my chin, pretty much like everywhere minus my, um, like my cheeks really, because I don't really get oily there. 
Um, putting it around your... Dude, I'm applying so much powder right now. Like, I'm ODing on powder right now. I should prank my girlfriend, huh, guys? Focus. Here. Be here. Um, my okay, it's hot, y'all. I'm so sorry, but this fan is gonna turn on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bronzer. I'm using the Clay to Poe Bronzer Duo in the shade 2. It comes with two colors, so I'm just mixing both. And I'm just gonna, this is an e.l.f. blush brush. I like how it's small, and I'm just taking it right in here. Listen, I may have, have overdone it with this bronzer, like I may have done too much. But where are we going, sis? To the living room. Let's get into it. Do you guys know where that's, please tell me, please. Tell me you know where that's from. Then, because I'm feeling chunky, I'm just gonna okay. start behind the ear and then just hit it right here. Get that jawline, sis. Like, let's do what we really want. Like, let's get a BBL. I'm just kidding. I don't want a BBL, but I do want my boobs done. So, if I knew this was gonna happen, this quarantine shit, I would have done it so I could recover during quarantine. So now I'm just gonna dust off the powder. And the brush I'm using is a MAC. Honestly, guys, you guys are sleeping on MAC brushes. MAC brushes come through. Oh, so my skin looks horrible. Perfect. Love that for me. Nothing's going right. Love that. Does it, what, where do you go? Over here or over here? Like, talk to me. What's going on? Okay. So... The, pow the powder kind of stuck weird, but you know what? Easy fix. Like if you ever have a, like a problem where your powder kind of looks like too powdery, shut your mouth. All you need is Fix Plus. This is my mini in the watermelon scent, but my favorite is the OG or the coconut. Or right, take any setting spray, I guess, that you have. And then just do what you do. Guys, I forgot to breathe when I did that. I'm telling you, I almost passed out just right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit. This one's pretty much gone. I also brought the, I have Truly's White Claws and these Margarita things. So let's just try one of each. Let's do Truly next. Let me just finish this one. I think I'm gonna take a Whisper of Gill as my highlight. Let's just finish the face. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my eyes, but I'm kind of thinking. Oh, God, I got scared. I was like, we're getting shot. We're not, girl, relax. So I'm gonna take Whisper of Guilt. I'm gonna take it on the tip of my nose and I'm gonna use my finger for my nose just because I feel like I'm more precise. If you feel like you can't apply it on your nose without taking like product off already, just put it like on the tip of your finger and then slightly glide. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. You wanna make like an exclamation point, like that's my nose, boom, exclamation point. <laughs> Coronavirus! As a prank only, so don't think. So now I'm going to take a 240, which is kind of like a 224, if you guys remember that brush, which just looks like this. It used to be a thing back in the day in the YouTube day. So uh, this is kind of like the bigger version. And I love this brush for highlight. So I'm just kind of going to take Whisper of Guilt. I'm going to apply it. Then I'm going to fix plus my face one more time. And then go while my face is still wet, I'm going to go in with this highlight again. And then that's really going to give you that like intensified like Instagram highlight. And also the powder started sitting really pretty on my skin now um, once the Fix Plus was there. So if you guys ever have a problem with like powder sitting like too powdery, Fix Plus. Before I go in with my second round of highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and do blush. This is the blush I'm using. This is called Melba. It's by MAC. It's my jam. It's more of like a peachy color, but uh, like on a little bit like more olive, like deeper skin tones. This color looks so pretty. Watch, just watch. And then I kind of been overdoing it with the blush lately, but I just want people to know that my cheeks are rosy 
and that I'm happy and healthy and thriving. So don't ever forget. And then now I'm gonna go with my big fluffy brush. And this is the same brush that I've been using to like blend out everything this whole time. So I'm just gonna keep continuing to use that brush and just run it through my face. Easy. Now I'm gonna take my Fix Plus one more time. Same brush. I'm gonna keep this highlight more so towards the top. I really hope you guys can tell the difference. If not, you're gonna be like, bitch, what trick? Okay, hold on, this side dried. Easy. Boom. I want people to know that I'm shining and I'm healthy and I'm glowing. And then if I even wanna get crazy, bring it up in the brow a little bit. Fuck it, why not? I'm gonna take a wipe. Get up my lip. You guys like how I'm avoiding my eyes? I don't know what to do, so. I'm kind of thinking hot pink. Okay, so now that I'm done cleaning up my lips, let's just start with the eyes because, okay, let's pop open a new drink now, actually. Okay, so let's try this one. This is a um, hard seltzer. Why am I explaining this shit like y'all never seen it? This is a truly, y'all. This is watermelon and kiwi. I hope my girlfriend's off work soon because... Ow. I'm a little late and I need attention. I think I tried these last weekend, but let's see. That tastes like health, I'll tell you. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm either thinking like a brown smoky eye, glitter topped. Something neutral with the Pony Park and MAC collection. How pretty is this? It looks so like soft. Or the hot pinks and the Jaclyn Hill. Fuck it, let's do an orange look. Let's do my man. On the eyelid, blend it out with positivity and a little bit of I'm in it. In here that's that's the move been decided boom i'm gonna take a flat brush this is a 239 by mac it had pink on it from last time i used it but fear not i keep a rag in which i spot clean because i don't got time to really clean right now and then also who the fuck wants to clean their brushes ever like nobody i don't know one person that's like god i can't wait to clean my brushes I just threw that like I'm not going to need it again. So fuck it. I'm going in with my man. And then the concealer on my eye is pretty dry. I'm just not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to start packing it on. Ooh, a little mandarina moment. A little cutie moment. So I'm just patting it all over my eyelid. Boom, easy. You can even just do this color and then just blend this color all the way out. Bitch. Honestly, the pigment on this palette is really nice. I know our girl Jacqueline fucked up before, but the pigment on this palette is nice. So now what I'm gonna take is the 224 brush. And then this is usually like my clean brush that I use to kind of just blend out edges. Cause I feel like it's so small and but like kind of like tall. So I feel like it's really like soft for like right in here. Like I can really just go in here and blend. And then I'm gonna go back in and on my lid, I'm just gonna pack that color, but I'm gonna wanna make sure that this color is blended. Guys, all my brushes are dirty. I really didn't plan this video out. I was just kind of like, fuck it. Let's get into it. I'm gonna take positivity with my uh, 224 blush, blush, brush. And then I'm just kind of, Gonna start on the edge here and then just kind of baby circle it. Ooh, I love that color. Okay, kind of baby circle it like all the way right in here. I'm gonna clean it on my little cleaning rag here and get most of the product off my brush and then go back in and then just on the tips, just kind of really focus on blending that color. I'm gonna go back in with my man. 
And I'm just gonna pat this on my eyelid. Yes, a little traffic cone moment, a little stop, halt, too fast moment. It's getting hot in here, y'all. Mm, oh, this is a cute look, y'all. My living room is gonna be like, damn it! You look good! Taking a tiny brush. And then I'm just gonna put this in my inner corner. It's kind of, it go, like it looks like almost white in the pan. And then when it goes on, it's kind of like a pink color. So I'm just gonna put that all up in my inner corner and I'm gonna kind of pack it on because I want it to look like really like bright almost. So I'm taking these lashes. These are the Cavalli lashes. I have a new one right here. They're these ones. They're in the, uh, in the style Scorpio. These are my favorite. I bought like eight of them. And they're super inexpensive. And I'm gonna just take some tweezers. And I also did a poll on Instagram to see if you guys preferred a longer video or a shorter video. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. A little bit of heaven. And I'm a little bit of heaven on Twitter and on Snapchat. So hit all those up. Now I'm going to take my, this is the Dare Black um, two double-ended MAC liquid liner. I'm going to take the liquid side, so it's just like a felt tip. And I'm just going to run it through my lashes, and, but I'm mostly getting it on my tight line. Then I'm going to take my mascara. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass. Um, I've been really feeling Hourglass lately, guys. So. so my favorite lip combo is uh, Strip Down and Shrimped In. Guys, I was not breathing that whole time. I don't think so. I almost died. And then I'm going to take my favorite lipstick, which is Trimped In. Guys, this is my actual favorite lipstick. I cannot be without this lipstick. And then I kind of apply it like that. Go back in with my lip liner and then just blend out the edges. So pretty much this is what I would normally do. I think that the that the look is so warm that maybe I need to like warm up the lip. So let me grab one of my favorite lip glosses. So I'm gonna take Pillow Talk lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. This is like the perfect baby pink color. All right guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't made a video in so long. So, welcome to all my new babies and hi to all my old babies. Um, but this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already. And maybe next time I'll get high and do this video. Love you guys so, so, so much and bye.